Hey everybody, today we are following Ben on his two-day trip to Yosu. Yosu is in the southern part of South Korea, and this little city has a population of 300,000. From Seoul or Yongsan Station, it is about a three-hour trip on the KTX to Yosu. Here Ben is in Yosu, and it is time for lunch. Because Yosu is close to the water, a lot of the local food includes some kind of fresh seafood, the most famous of which is marinated raw crab. If you go to Yosu, you have to try the raw crab. Ben gobbled up three whole bowls of rice here too. After lunch, it is time to get on the bus to go to Odongdo Island. Odongdo Island is a scenic spot that Yosu is well known for. This island is full of camellia trees. The best time to see them in full bloom is from February to April. There is no entrance fee, so feel free to go take a look around. You can see the 2012 Yosu World Expo Center from the main road on the island. There is a scenic viewing spot on the island that is absolutely beautiful. This is called Nangman Pocha, or the Romantic Stall. It is a small food and bar stand and a very popular and famous spot. It mostly sells alcohol and side dishes that go well with alcohol. Yosu is famous because of the night view of the ocean. You definitely need to take a ride on the ocean cable car and take in the amazing views. And it's time for dinner! Heimul Samap is a special kind of seafood mix that combines octopus, veggies, kimchi, and many other kinds of seafood. Ben is also eating several kinds of fresh seafood. Hair tail sashimi, grilled hair tail, and hair tail stew. It is so much food that he feels like he is going to explode. And you can't forget to try the local Yosu Soju. Ben bought some food and alcohol to take back to the hotel, taking out some raw shrimp and raw octopus. Ben also had salmon sashimi and beef tartare delivered. The next day, after a simple breakfast, Ben heads out to Hyangiram. Hyangiram is a Buddhist temple built in 644 AD. The ocean view and sunrise here are super famous. Ben got really lucky with the amazing weather today. Walking up to the temple, the view is beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. 
Ben doesn't know what it means, but because everyone else is doing it, Ben does the same. Here he is taking a drink of the mountain spring water. Damn, he's handsome. You can also give the little Buddha a bath, and it is said that you can wash away all your sins and faults by doing this. After seeing all of Hyangiram, it is time to get a bus to go eat lunch. In Korea, you can refill the side dishes as many times as you want, a very special part of Korean culture. After eating lunch in Yosu, it is time to head home. Everyone, if you feel like you've had enough of Seoul and Busan, then maybe you can go check out Yosu. This has been a trip with Ben, and thanks for watching, everyone.